The Black Velvet Waltz is the first fiddle tune that I ever learned. Uh, I was about six years old and uh, was in the Suzuki violin program. Uh, so I had a really good ear from that program alone, but also because um, my parents always listened to fiddle music around the house. So in the first part, we're going to start with a little triplet, uh, just on the G string, open one, two, three, and then we're into the tune. So I'll just play the first little phrase. <laughs> That's all there is for the pickups. And that C is your downbeat. So you want to be on a down bow for that downbeat. And I'm just, like I said, playing that triplet, open one, two, and then down on the three. And that's the first in the down, up, 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 down, up, up pattern that's coming up. So I'll just play the next little bit. And again. Here's the two ups on a slur, and then another up on a detached sounding up bow. And then down on that G note. So one more time. And here's the two ups when you have the three quarter notes in a measure. Well, here's the advanced tutorial for the Black Velvet Waltz. Like the typical Canadian old time waltz, it, the beauty does lie in the simplicity. So there isn't a whole lot that we do to dress up tunes uh, in this style, especially with waltzes. But I will show you a few little things. Um, a lot of slides and very subtle slides that I do. They're not, uh, you know, covering a lot of ground. We're not sliding a semitone or anything. It's just, you know, barely leading up to the note or leading down from the note and uh, maybe some just plays with uh, rhythmic stuff. So uh, for the Black Velvet Waltz, I'll start playing it and see what happens. <laughs> So a few things in there. Um, the first thing I did, I believe, was a slide. So sliding into that G note with my just with my third finger and and then what I did was a rhythmic thing. Uh, the melody, the basic melody, just to refresh your memory, went very simple. But I just played around with that and I went. And uh, you might even want to push a note, which means to bring it in before it should be there. Bring it in before the beat, so it could sound like this. 